Welcome to Watercolor Tips. The first and last page of your book is blank for you to practice and maybe even draw your own butterfly. You can leave your page attached to the book or tear it out like me. First, let's mix a color. I say never use a color straight from your palette. Always dab in another for a more natural look. I'm going to make a purple right here. I often add a little dab of brown to almost every color I make. Let's jump in and make a light wash of color. The important thing to remember is to use plenty of water. This helps push the paint easily around on the paper. Now let's try making some strokes. Depending on how you tilt your brush, you can make thin and thicker lines. Now to make wide strokes, you're gonna apply pressure and flatten your brush onto the page gently. All right, let's paint one more wash. This time, using a clean brush, paint clear water onto the page. Now, add your color of choice on top of the water and watch how easy it blends. If you ever find yourself painting the sky, this is a great technique. Lastly, relax, have fun, try mark making on your page. Gentle dots, squiggles, or splotches come in handy when painting butterflies, flowers, trees, actually everything. I suggest keeping this page nearby while you paint butterflies in this book so you can test colors and practice. Hope you have fun.